I never ever saw that cutscene before when I played Jack and Daxter back in the past. What's up guys, it's the cop with this here and I got a gameplay here with Jack and Daxter the HD Collection episode 10. And right now we're heading through the, uh, the path here, Mountain Pass. And what you want to do is chase down each one of these guys. You don't have to kill them, but just chase them. And try to collect everything on your way through the uh, pass here because if you miss something you might run into one of those dynamites or something and die. So um, it's okay, you can always kill yourself and start back over. but try to get it all in one run it's really kind of annoying when you get multiple runs over these things but uh, oh wow I cracked into a tree no wonder my driving skills suck uh, in real life I can't really drive at all because my family has a truck and if you guys ever try to drive a truck like an armada if you guys look it up on Google it's an armada platinum and um uh, let's get the scout I missed the scout fight no 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 but yeah if you ever try to drive a truck compared to like a car the uh the Quality terms the car is like a six sensitivity and a truck is like a two so it's like really hard and oh oh there's precursor over there no okay yeah like what I was saying yeah and the sensitivity is a big difference but uh when I when I was playing this part right here I was thinking about one game I haven't talked about this entire let's play Jack X what happened to that game man I know they couldn't put it on the disc because of it. it had online play, but imagine how awesome that would be. I used to like playing those capture the uh, power cell missions where you'd have to charge up the power cells in multiplayer. Um, me and my brother used to play it all the time against the computer. If they had that for like a multiplayer with like a full on 8 versus 8 or something, I would have bought like 10 copies of this game. No, I'm serious. That's how great that thing was, but uh, here we go, crash into this guy and you guys might be thinking, oh look, you're 100% done with this place. Nope, you're not. Because what happens is, there's a vent that was unlo unlocked over uh, in the midway of this area, so you're gonna have to come back here later. But uh, we got three out of four of these uh, power cells, so uh, we're good. We're good for now, 75%. And uh, right here is the Red Sages Village, guys. And you guys know whenever we enter New Village, what we gotta do. We're gonna head on in there, and uh, let me just make sure right here. Yep, there you see, three out of four. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot the oracle. Oh crap. Um You know what? This still kind of works. So let's see. The only thing I missed was this one. And okay, yeah. All right, so I forgot about the oracle back in the Blue Sages village. We got to go back there. It's not that hard. You don't have to turn around. Um No, let's just go. All right, here is the Red Sages lab. It's over like a volcano. This is pretty epic. And uh, I really like the environment here, it's really cool. But Spider Cave is around here and I hate that place. What you want to do is come in here and press the switch as always. Here we go. Bam. Oh, fuck! I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yakow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've do. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Way 
Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Great bowls of eco. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! Maya and Gaul have gotten in over their heads. Hey guys, keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. All right, yeah, loving that. But uh, what you want to do is come over here and activate this portal and we can teleport to each of the sages huts. So you can teleport back and forth between each area on your choosing. So um, you don't have to abandon anywhere. And you don't have to walk back like a death walker or like a walk of shame. But we can come back over here and look how clean this place is. We clean this place up nice. Now, uh, it should be right about here. Here we go. Let's just buy this stuff. Here is another power cell for your quest. For your sacrifice, I offer you a power cell. Alright, there we go guys, there's two power cells right there. Now, uh, as you can see, there's an oracle right there. And uh, we can get that one later, but we have a ton of precursor orbs and we're not going to spend it right now. We're going to be spending it in here. Okay, so, uh, wait, I hear a red scout fly. One thing I really want to buy is a pair of headsets, because I don't have any. I, I don't know what type of headset to buy, like a turtle beach, but talk to these guys. Hey Gordy, duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Duh, you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is... We may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a... Uh, here's a... A power cell! Yeah, yeah, what he said. That's it. You cleaned us out. No more power Cell. All right, guys. So we cleaned them out. We bought every power cell they had, and uh, if you do that, you don't ever have to come back to these guys. I think they counted as like pretty much a world of their own. I guess this part was gonna was gonna turn into another area, but they decided just to put two two of those guys there and replace them with that. That's what I would think if I was a developer. But uh, we're gonna come over here. Let's talk to the. Uh, well, let me just show you guys the Oracle. We don't have to talk to him. He just says that deep voice speech that we always have, so let's head over here. And, uh, here we go. Red Scout Fly Box. Oh, I was gonna need this. Nice. Two, only two, though. Um, 
No. There are two areas in this area. As you can see, further on you go in the game, there's less and less areas per village. And uh, there's Spider Cave and Mountain, the Snowy Mountain. And uh, in that area, that that's where the miners were. But uh, right here you can get the Snowy Mountain by using this gondola. I don't know why, but that word gondola, it sounds like gonorrhea. I don't know why. Don't even ask me. That's how my mind works. But uh, we're coming over here. And there's a few tricky power cells, guys. You can actually glitch up in this game and miss one power cell forever. I forgot which one it was, but I think it was something to do with Spider Cave. And if you glitch up and miss that power cell, it's okay. You can still beat the game, but you won't get every 101 power cells. You'll get 100. That's why they only require 100 at the end of the game. But uh, over here's the lava tube. If you, you can actually continue over to the, uh, the Yellow Sages Lab if you want to right now at this juncture but we can come over here and finish off this area first now a lot of you guys beat this game this game isn't really that long and i'm gonna fast forward this because this is really slow this is a really slow part but um a lot of you guys beat this game and i can't wait to head on to jack 2 and jack 3 because i'm gonna be doing those games 100 percent no matter what and a lot of people don't know where to get the uh precursor orbs and don't worry guys i'll be there for you guys with commentary, HD, and all of that stuff for you. And I think I'll be doing more editing, like, oh crap, I died. But I think I'll be doing more editing and stuff in that one too. Uh, Jack and Dex right here, it's self-explanatory. You have all these minis, but uh, there you go, another red scout fly. And uh, I think we're pretty much done with this episode. Let's head over here. Uh, okay, so over there is the gondola, and in the next episode, we're going to be heading to Snowy Mountain, one of my favorite areas in this game because it actually shows the uh, environmental diversity in this game. So we're going to head over here, press circle, and we're going to be heading up now. And now you can see the environment and music change, which is really cool. But anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, please leave me a rating. It's really helping me grow. And guys, I might have some good news here. I might be getting partnered within the next two weeks. Who knows? I kind of got a... Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about it. But anyway, guys, it's been the Cowboys. I'm out. Peace.